Hello and welcome to a revisited video of the Elden Ring AFK automated rune farm that I created two years ago. Plus, you know, no one know how much more than two years it is. However, it's been quite popular on my channel and many, many of you actually asked about, you know, how does it work? I cannot get it working and so on. So. I created this video right here in order to try to clarify a few more things for you guys, but it is very important that you do exactly the same things as I did in order to get this working. So first of all, this video is all about you running up with your character. It is an automated script. Um, and what it really does is that you press F3. And I think I pressed F3 in the video right now, I think it is. No, not now. Now I press F3 and my hands is off the keyboard, as you can see. And what happens now is the macro is running. It's a piece of code, uh, basically just pressing some keys. The keys is just some hotkeys that you set in your settings, key bindings in Elden Ring and that's really it. Now, then it repeats itself and that's it, you found the rune, pretty basic. There's a few things you need to take care of now. So let me pull in Elden Ring right here. I have it pulled in in a window mode. As you can see, it's kind of the same place I'm standing with the same character, the same weapon you need. What you basically need to have is to go into system, um, and then under this right here, you can see it says key bindings. And you need to set your key bindings to the exact same thing as I have, because that is what the script is made from. If you are good enough with the code, you can of course keep your own keys um, and then change the script in order to, well, make it easier for you to migrate over to normal playing or AFK farming. Now, I literally just, you know, created this because I wanted to make it as easy as possible to control stuff. So, and auto farm. So what is it here? You've got the move part, so you can move forward, set the keys, you know, you can see it says the shift and the jump doesn't really matter and the crouch stand up doesn't really matter too, but the WSAD needs to be set. And you also need to set the camera mode for the IKJ, LMP. You don't really use P for the auto toggling, so it doesn't really matter, but the four first keys is important. And the other ones here, uh, what is important here is to set the E key for use item, and the map is for uh, G. And I think that's it really, because what really happens is, is whenever you did your, your thing, right, you, you, you do this, like you, make your sword make a golden path and you basically kill a lot of creatures then what happened is the script press g and then it presses f on where you are press e uh so you might ask about the f key so the the f key is, is already set there as a toggle list but then it press e and e one more time and reloads to the same location respawning all the creatures it's kind of running like this, and I'm just doing it myself. Uh, to something around, you know, something like this. Swing the sword, and you get a lot of runes, and that's really how it works. So, if you are targeted, you cannot go to the map, uh, meaning if you're under attack. I checked if anything, you know, changed during like two and a half years' time I created this macro. And I can't really see anything that changed, so I take it the same game mechanic still applies. All right, so um, there's a few things that can go wrong. You know, you can see I'm running in a windowed mode right now. I recommend you to go as low in resolution as you can. So basically, go into system settings and just go to the lowest resolution you can, and then run the script. It seems like after a, a bit of testing that it doesn't really affect how the um, script is running, uh, doesn't matter which kind of resolution you're running, it should work just out of the box, more or less. 
uh, some of you reported about it doesn't work when I press F3 and stuff like that. Okay, so what really happens here is that you haven't started the script. You need to, well, watch the original video still or watch the very first one. I will, of course, link to them in this description. They will all be interlinked in some way, so it's easy to find it. But you need to understand how to use the hotkey scripting. So what really happens is that you have, for example, a folder like this, and I have a file called wave of gold a h key that is the extension for auto hotkey and then you can open that in a notepad just like that and that is the script now you can go ahead and alter whatever you would like into this this is not really a video video on you altering but if you for example it's not really um doing the thing you should do i suggest you go ahead and downscale the resolution make note of one thing the sleep time that I set here is based upon a standard load of the game. So if you're, for example, having a computer that can barely run Elden Ring and the loading time is just longer, that would definitely mess up the script and the timing because it will not wait for you. It will just set the delay for, let's say, you do these things here, which is probably around one and a half seconds, and then you do something uh, more like two seconds, and then you wait for 5.6 seconds while you just do more than nothing, and that is the loading period of the screen. So you press G, you press F, E, and you press E again, and that part here is basically this part where you press G, F, E and E again and essentially I wait 5.6 seconds and that's more than enough time for me because my computer is fast enough for this but if yours is not you should definitely tweak the numbers and this is just something you have to do. I kind of do not advise you to, to use any kind of cheat because you can get caught and you can get banned. Uh, these kind of macros here is simulating real actual key clicking, uh, keyboard presses and stuff like that so that's not going to be a problem in most occasions i never had any problems with it i always also just farm in offline mode whatever you're going to call that ah. so what really happens is if you find a program where you can just you know inject the different kind of keystrokes to the game without having a focus to the game that's going to be a problem because that will um, require you to do something called DLL injection or some sort of injection or taking part of the process. Um, and most likely the, the cheat, uh, the anti-cheat in the game will detect that and it, it's not a good idea because you will get banned and flagged pretty fast. So I kind of recommend you not to do that. What I recommend you to do is just turn off your sound computer, choose the lowest resolution because it's going to give you a better load time whenever you go to the map and choose location and, and spawn there, right? Um, and then tweak the numbers. That's really the way it is. So whenever you have the script running, you will have from sometimes one or two of these small green H's down below, as you can see, you just close one of them. If you haven't got one of these green H's right there, you basically just have to go back, you know, and double click on the file. If you install a hotkey, of course, uh, also hotkey, and then it kind of just, you know, is down there. And when it's down there, you can always just reload it if, if you change something here in the, in the script. So what you basically can do now is just to go into the game, make sure there's nothing is open, just click, and whenever you can just turn around like this, you can press F3 and, you know, hands is off the keyboard. And now it's really just playing for me. I, I, I'm like not doing anything right now. And that is the automated no hands farm. And I didn't correct the script at all, basically. Um, I haven't used it for a long time. I'm aware that the DLC is out, so but this is just basically the one way of you to to you know to farm the game. So you might I'm gonna stop it pressing F8 a few times and now it's stopped. You can always just press F3 again and it will just start. And the reason you can do that is because it's a program running in Windows, so the program is trying to detect um, this uh, key press and read it. What you can do is go ahead and see, I'm gonna change weapon right now to something like, let's say this, so using a sword like that, for example, which is also a pretty neat sword. 
Um, the problem with this is if you go in and just you know press and kill, it's going to be more directed towards a couple of them. Um, and if you are targeted or you have aggro on you, for example, this one right there, it's not death. So you have basically have to press it one more time. It's not really going to work that well for you. Let me just kill everything right now before they're really going to target me. Not going to work well for you, but it is possible for you to use different kind of swords, you know, if that is what you want to do. I recommend you to go ahead and kill the uh, last boss and get this sword right here. Um, the sword, as you know, is equipment. It's called uh, the, the what's it called? Wave of Gold Sword, really. That's the, it. The other one is called Taker's Flame. It's more like a, a sword that I use to kill, you know, singular creatures that have high HP because it's so powerful. This sword here is also quite powerful in the mass for farming, but you know, mm, yeah, I really recommend this sword anyway. This is probably one of the best farming methods still out there. This is also where the bird farm is, by the way. You can see it down there running around, but it requires you to have a uh, arrow and bow. It's quite slow. It is not the same as this. This is just guard mode. Down here, that is slow mode, so don't do that. Okay, so I kind of hope I not shoot in the right direction um there's no change you know i i haven't bought the dlc i just basically wanted to create an update for this for you because this is it's something that just got so many requests on i'm really happy that you uh wrote the comments you know and watched the original video it's, it's very old and i kind of want to create a new one about it uh, the things you could do by the way in the script if i'm gonna show that to you is you can go ahead and pull it in and say like, so I want to use a different sword. Um, there are some tricks you can go ahead and use, uh, pressing the different keys. So you are bound to the, let me just get focus here on the J, the K, the L and the I as the camera rotators. What you can do because you're not used the mouse is whenever you spawn, let me just give you an example here. Whenever you spawn, for example, on a spawn point, you spawn like this, so you look in the wrong direction. So you basically gonna count holding down the J key, which is turning your left, like one. Mm, how much was that? Also, it's you can see if you take like ahead of you, you will see that it's it's running that way, right? It is too far. So what you should basically say is like, mm, that's how far is that? Like maybe three hundred milliseconds. And whenever you focus that way, you need to turn the character, and that is by toggling the run key, which is my W key, just pressing it once, and you see it turns exactly that direction. So when, when I run now, it will run the direction that I looked in with the J. If you're going back again, and you're turning the J, and you're running, it will also go that way. But that's what I'm saying, you have to toggle it. Uh, creating an actual wall path, like more like AI wise with this kind of script which I'm talking about right now, is going to be very difficult for you because you could do something like that. Like you're going to say uh, 300 milliseconds probably, and then you're going to run two, three, four, and five, and six, and you have to turn again a bit. But you can also sidestep that is the A key, like this. And now you're looking this way that is not a good idea so you have to press the k not the k the uh the l key and maybe the w again and then you look that direction maybe a bit more on j and then again and then you can try and position yourself it's a bit clunky to test that so i, I kind of <laughs> say get the sword you know get this sword right here uh and 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 you you have the ultimate weapon to farm yourself loads of loads of runes you can get so many so fast there are different ways for you to boost your runes you know you can uh, i don't remember exact words for different kind of items and consumables you can go ahead and put on or eat and stuff like that uh, but there are ways to boost it um what i have on right now is is very just standard stuff so it's lioness helmet armor gauntlets and greaves you know it's it's from when i played um i don't think i have anything racing uh, let me see. No, I have no what they call tennisman stuff like that that raise my my goal. But there are different ways for you to do it, at least from what I remember. But you know, 
I just want to clarify it all, and I really hope that you know you you are on the right track now. So I want to say thank you for watching this video. If any questions, you know, ask them below, and I'm definitely gonna try and, and respond to you. But it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult if the same questions <laughs> will appear, you know. And and I really hope that's not the case. Um, but I'm gonna try. So have a nice day. See you online again.